Ever notice the way people look at you when you're in uniform, when you're on patrol, walking down the street, the store? To them, you're every officer in the department, maybe every officer in the country. You stand out, that's for sure. There's no way around it. One contact you have with a citizen, just one time, one day, to determine the way they think of other officers for years to come, maybe for the rest of their lives. Ask yourselves what the officers in the situations you're about to see do for the community image of the rest of us. Police officer. Miss Ingram? Well, did you get him? Did you find the prowler? No, ma'am. There's nobody out there that I could see. Are you sure? Have you checked around by the hedges? Yes, ma'am. Around All the around window. Can you tell me just what happened? Well, well, yes. I was here by myself. My husband travels a good bit, and I was by myself, and I was getting ready for bed. I was back in the bedroom, you know, where I told you, uh -huh. over the telephone. And I saw this face pressed up against the window, and it... Of course, it frightened me, and I screamed. Uh, and then I rushed to call the police. Now, I could give you a good description of yes, the man. Yes, ma'am, you know, I, I'm sure, you know, being back by, here by yourself, you know, it's pretty easy to get scared. It's dark and all. I, you know, I'm, it's easy Look, to imagine you saw something. This was I, not a figment of my imagination. Now, I'm no, accustomed to being no, by myself. My husband is out of town a good bit. No, I, I'm not so saying I'm I wasn't not somebody. I'm just used it, to seeing things. No, I'm just saying it does happen a lot in this neighborhood. The street lighting is poor. You know, it does happen, but... I don't think you'll have Well, if you'd gotten here earlier, you might have been able to catch the guy. What Ma took I'll you tell so you, long? I, was, I, was working, I called over 20 minutes ago. I was working an injury accident about two and a half, three miles from here, it seemed, and I got here as quick as I could. I have to handle calls according to priority. An injury well, why didn't they call somebody else? You're day. not the only car they have. Yes, ma'am, I happen to be the only car we have out here. We've got, we've got one car to work this whole Brookside area at night, see? We got four, this, this Brookside area is made up of four beats. I got one car out here, that's myself. I have to handle it all myself. You mean this is the only protection that we can have? I'm paying good taxpayers' money to I'll get police Look, protection. We work with what the taxpayers give us, and they give us one police officer at night out here, and that's it. Two during the day and one at night. Now, we ought... Look, I'm on your side. We ought to have four, but we don't. Now, we have to work with what we've got. We've got one car. In this whole neighborhood, we've had a lot of trouble out here. I've had, I've had two, three breaking and enterings in the past week within, I'd say, four blocks of here. I had a rape down the street. A rape? Do you yes, think it could be the same person that was out here? Ma'am, I don't have any idea. There was a, there was a young gal that worked uh, nights in a drive-in theater, came home from work, somebody grabbed her off the streets. You know, it's, it, we can't keep up with it. You get one car out here, they know that. These thugs and hoodlums know that. They know what areas they can work in and what areas they can't. And out here, they've got a pretty well free reign because we don't have the manpower to cover it. Well, isn't there something you can do for us? Lady, I'm sorry. You know, we do all we can with what we've got. Now, I'd advise you to you know, go on in secure your windows and your doors. If you have any more problem tonight, call the department again. I doubt that you will. These calls usually don't amount to anything. Well, could you, could you at least check back later? I don't know. You know, I, if I can, it depends on how many calls I've got backed up. You know, I, I can't say. I'll do the best I can. Okay? Good night. Headquarters, make sure we got an ambulance on the way. Tell them it's not necessary for a 1018 run. I think it's too late for him. And bring us a blanket, would you? Like to 
Baker 6-0, good. Baker 6-0, take a 1075, man down. 77th and Main, in the alley. 77th and Main, 10-4. What do you think? Another damn wide up. I tell you, it's just another damn one. It looks like. Hey man, wake up! Get up! Hey, get up! Hey man, wake up! Hey, hey, I told oh, you to get your ass up, man. Wake up! Stop. Get up! Wake up! What are you doing? My brother told me to wait here. Your brother told you to lay here. To wait here? What are you doing laying down here on the steps? I'm sick. You're sick. You look drunk to me. My brother told me to wait here. You've been drinking? No, I've been here ten years. Ten years? Waiting for what? Your brother? My brother. You've been I, waiting I, waiting here for ten years for your brother? I can't leave till he comes to get me. You can't leave till he comes to get you? No. I think you're drunk. No, I'm, I'm sick. You're not sick. You're just drunk. You even smell like booze. I'm sick. You want to go to jail? No. Well, yeah. get your ass out of here. Come on, move. You're not sick. You look like my brother. You look like his, you look like his brother, no, man. Not. Hey, you're drunk. Get the hell out of here and get off my beat. Move. Come on, brother. Come on, move. I'll put your ass in jail. He's gone. Let's go. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't there something to be done for a guy like that? What do you mean done for him? He's just a wino. He's drunk. What can you do for him? That the man's sick, man. He has a problem. Don't you he, think we can do something for him? He's not sick. We took him in here. We put him in jail. He's sober. He'll be back here in two days. Yeah, but I mean... He's got more of a problem than just being drunk. Can't, couldn't you notify mental health about him? No, oh, there's nothing wrong with him. He's just drunk. He's just a typical wino. He's down here all the time. I thought I was his brother. He's obviously not okay. Well, what are you going to do? we got 20 minutes to go on a shift, and it'd take an hour to book the man, and it wouldn't do a damn bit of good in the first place, so why do it? I just thought something wanted to be done for oh, the guy. fuck it. Let's go. Okay, Charles, look, whatever you and the state attorney can work out is fine with me, all right? Sure. Well, look, why don't you get with him, call him. Uh huh? Yeah. Okay, well, look, uh, I've got somebody coming in the office. Let me get back to you in a few minutes, okay? Fine. Right. Right, have a seat. Okay. Yes, are, are you Officer Butler? Yes, I am. People down at the end of the hall tell me to come talk to you. Mm -hmm. Um. I was sitting at home and uh, with some people and 
talking, we were talking and a few of them left. I was talking with one guy and um, well, he attacked me. I was attacked. What is your full name? Karen Leeds, L-E-E-D-S. Mm -hmm. How old are you, Karen? I'm 19. Are you a student? You yes, part-time. Out of the university? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Karen, you said you were assaulted. How were you assaulted? Um, I was raped. I was raped. You were raped. About what time did this occur, Karen? Um, I think it was around 9.30. I'm not real sure of the time. 9.30? That was last day, PM? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's 2.30 now. Why have you waited so long to come see me? I just didn't know what to do. I was, you know, really confused. I didn't know what to do. Well, that's understand understandable. I can, I can see how that would happen. Okay. Um, let's see, Karen. What is your address now? It's 318 Bush Street. 318 Bush Street? Yes. That's the... Uh, a little yellow house down in the corner with all the flowers and everything on it. Yes. How many people live there, Karen? Uh, around 10, I believe. I'm not real sure. I More like 15 or 20, though, isn't it? I didn't, I didn't think so. I don't know. Karen, being 2.30 in the morning, all the detectives are out and tied up right now. I'm going to need a few more details on what happened and, uh, Explain to me, or I'll have a little more information to give them when they get here. All right, well, like I said, there was some people from the house, and we were all sitting in the living room, and we were talking, and some people decided they wanted to go out. I don't know if they wanted to drink or something, and I didn't feel like it, and the guy that I was talking to didn't want to either, so we stayed behind alone, and we were rapping for a couple of hours. He was telling me about his trip. California and, and the things that he was doing and after a while he started you know making some passes to me and mm -hmm. I just you know I didn't want anything to do with it mm -hmm. and, and he grabbed my hair and, and he told me he had a knife I was just scared I didn't know what to do Karen y'all smoking a little pot down there tonight no really <laughs> well, how many times have you been raped this week Karen no, I've never been raped before. Oh, no. sure. You live down there in a community. You screw no, everything at walks. No. Sure. What's wrong? No, you afraid no. you're pregnant? Afraid mama's going to no. find out and cut your money off? people in the rain, uh, especially you know, a good looking chick, man, you're crazy. If she hadn't given me so much mouth, I wouldn't have given her a uh, ticket. Wasn't what she gave you is what she didn't give you, uh, huh? Isn't that it? Huh? Come on, man. I am. Uh, I don't do I'll that. Do that. Like hey, 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 you guys know he's going to buy me buy me some lunch today? How did he get roped into that? Well, let me tell you. He, he likes that. Listen, we had a big bet at the pistol match yesterday, see? Well, for lunch. Hey, normally, hey, hey, look at normally Mr. Steak here. <laughs> normally I beat him, but I'm oh, shooting my old old pea shooter. And he's uh, shooting his cannon over here. Really? Well, the same thing here. Couldn't hit anything. First shot, no. 
Yeah. Yeah, boy. Shut the crotch right out of cherry cheese. Is that right? <laughs> Two points I lost. Yeah. Right. I go tell Jerry with his cherry cheesecake. Can okay. you believe this? Cherry cheesecake. And a tall glass of milk. cherry you really want, don't you? Oh, thank you, Jerry. She's a dude. Oh, yeah. So anyway, so you got to pay for his meal, huh? You got to pay yeah, for him. I'm going to get back at him good. because I got a detail for him this afternoon that he it won't be way. Way. Yeah. What you got to do? One of our vice dicks, get this, went down and insulted one of these black Muslim bastards. Oh, so we got to go down and smooth it over this afternoon. Is that right? I'm I'm what did he do anyway? Right. Shit. What did he do anyway? Oh, I think he passed gas in front of this guy's wife. <laughs> <laughs> shit. I believe it, man. You know, the tide you works the best for that kind of laundry. You can't Come do that anymore. Oh, yeah. shit. Well, we appreciate it. We appreciate it. We see you. Come on with me again sometime. Okay. Who the hell do they think they are? I don't know. I thought I'm fucking there. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, I know, I think you can find your way out the door, can't you? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to try. Damn detective, that's what Yeah. Those guys are something else, aren't they? Hi, how was your lunch? Pretty good, pretty good. Okay. 286. 286? Mm-hmm. Apparently you haven't been here too long, uh, honey. We're police officers, and we get to eat at half price here. Oh, okay. 143 then. Thank you.